Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, it's a cup of tea with Captain of the Steves. That's me. This is my tea. I guess. Now, people in the view of us, today, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy. I guess I am. So let's jump on over. And I figured what I would just show you is just how long it takes to get from the actual title screen into actual play. So here we go. Let's hit on up the actual icon. That's loading inside of background right now, people. There we go. Turn off the view counter because it's not live. We get this lovely little warning that pumps up before play. Now, this isn't a complaint or anything. I'm just eager to see how long it takes me to get in too. I like how it shows the build version and all that sort of shenanigans. Lovely little animation there. And look, you've got lots of different save points. I don't know how many save points we can have here, people, but you can start a new character if you wish. Now, I went with Hufflepuff, and I've got to go to the common room. So let's go to that common room, shall we? Okay, I just want the latest one, which luckily it puts it at the top of the list. And we're jumping straight in. There we go, peeps. Now, although we've got the loading screen, it doesn't pop up for too long. And you're in. There we go. We're in. Coolio. Revelio. Revelio. Anything when I do Revelio inside of here? No, nothing is Revelio to moi. Okay, well, let's go this way then. No running in the halls. Not that long. We're doing it. Yes. Rick, that was a bit force fed, wasn't it? Yeah. Revelio. Oh, look, there's a chest over there. Not that I couldn't see that with my normal eyes. Oh, okay, house chest. Fair enough. What a lovely sort of common room. Now, I do find myself inside of Hogwarts Legacy, just looking around, people. So, although this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve, I figured I'd just show you the common room area. We'll progress the story a little, and I'll talk about what I'm hoping to do in the way that I'm going to be delivering Hogwarts to you guys in the Viewerverse. Now, I figure that there's quite a lot of people already doing playthroughs that is focused on story. And there's probably a lot of people that are doing playthroughs about getting powerful. Myself! I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be bringing small videos to you guys in the view of us of exciting moments that I come across oh, or giant animals or pets that I find and some of the other stuff that I come across as well as, you know, my customization of my own home space. I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. You can see here, people, this is putting a smile across my face. I like Arthur Plumley and his, and his accent. Thank you. Yes. Shame. I think magical beasts are incredible. I'm, I'm going to I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> Oh, anyway, brilliant. I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. I think me and Arthur would have a good kingship, because yes, I want to find all of these magical creatures also. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back <laughs> to the shop. <laughs> okay, well, good luck, Arthur. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. See, I really like that. So yeah, I'm going to be finding all the sorts of you know, weird creatures, whatever they're called, the magnificent beasts or whatever, <laughs> and trying to tame them, pet them, all that sort of shenanigans. What? Where's he crawling off to? Okay, he's still looking for that cat, is he? Fair enough. Hello. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, 
Hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes, I was. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. See, both of those characters we've just met have got quite a high level of intrigue and interest, and I'd imagine each of the different dorm rooms are going to have similar sorts of characters that pull you into their world, and it's just beautifully done. So I'd imagine that there's going to be people doing many different playthroughs. You heard, or no, you're just... You do know that there's a freaking sofa right here. There's a sofa, there's two chairs, but no, you, lady, would rather sit here next to a cactus. Why? Okay, I can't talk to you, can I? Okay, I can only talk to the people with yellow things on them. All right, fine. Which is, that kind of breaks immersion a little. A beautiful owl. Okay, you like owls, do you? I like owls. That one's scary, though. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, You'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hardworking too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Well, thank you. Hold on. Why do you think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, um, lifting your chair a little there, love, but yeah, cool. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course, adieu. Yeah, parting is such adieu. sweet you sorrow. Yes, I am. Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Are they really? Okay, well, that looks like where my adventure will move forwards, people. But like I say, I'm going to be bringing to you the more exciting moments. Not much of the story, because I think you should progress that yourselves. I'm going to hopefully show you locations of fantastic and wondrous beasts, where to find some awesome customizations for your own sort of home space when I get to that stage. And maybe sharing a couple of exciting boss fights or tactics and things like that that I've come across that might help people that are a bit stuck at times. So when I get in a sticky jam or find something pretty amazing, I'll be sure to share it with you. Otherwise, I'm going to play through this game and I'll be delivering a full review once I've managed to beat it. But until then, people, that's pretty much all I've got for you. I'm going to continue drinking my tea now, peeps. But yeah. What a wonderful, beautiful game Hogwarts Legacy actually is. It's a lovely rendition of the Harry Potter universe, and I think they've done a sterling job over at Avalanche. And I've done a sterling job on that cup of tea, mate. So, yeah, anyway, there you go. Cup of tea with Captain Steve, and that's how I'm going to be delivering Hogwarts Legacy to you guys in the viewerverse. Until next time, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye again.